Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2020 Korean crime thriller movie called Time to Hunt. This movie is about three friends who live together as if they are brothers to survive the Korean dystopia. However, they are hunted down by a mysterious killer after robbing a gambling house. So, why do they have to rob a gambling house? Will they survive in the end? Let's find out. In a near-distant future, South Korea has become a dystopia due to the high inflation it is facing. The country's accumulated debt to the IMF and worsening economic conditions have made their Korean one useless and the people demonstrate regularly. In this condition, lives two friends, Hoon and Jang, who go to the prison to pick up their friend, Jun. The three of them used to steal for money, and Jun was incarcerated after buying time for the two to escape. In addition, the stolen money has become worthless due to the continuous inflation and living expenses can only be paid in USD. Despite the facts, June is not angry with the two of them, as they have been living together to survive for years. In fact, June shares his dream with the two of them to live outside the country near the beach and spend the rest of their life settling in. However, to realize his dream, they are going to need a big capital. Hearing this, Hoon and Jan become disheartened and persuades him not to hope for the dream. The next day, they go to their old shop. Jun is surprised to see that the whole neighborhood has been abandoned and their shop has been ruined. That night, they go to a gambling house to win some cash. Jun catches a glimpse of USDs piling up in the safe. He realizes that it's their ticket to realize his dream. He meets his friend who is working as a waiter there. Friend used to owe Jun a big sum of money to pay for his mother's medical bills. However, even after years have passed, friend is still unable to pay for it. So, Jun invites him to join his plan, to rob the gambling house. Hearing this, Hoon and Jang are further disheartened as the gangsters who back the house are more frightening compared to the police. In addition, they also don't want Jun to be imprisoned for the second time after wasting three years of his life. However, upon hearing Jun talking about his dream repeatedly, the two want to support him achieve it. At last, Hoon and Jang agree to do the heist due to their life debt to Jun. And so, they start to prepare their plan. Firstly, they map out the outdoor CCTVs near the area. With friends' help, they are also able to map out the indoor CCTVs precisely. As their faces will be captured by the indoor CCTV, they need to take care of the hard drives that store the footage as well. With the datas, they plan their route to enter and exit the building. Next, they also map the guards inside the building. They are also aware of the gangsters back up from the outpost, so they time their heist based on the distance between the outpost to the house. Lastly, June visits an arms dealer who he has met in the prison to buy some firearms and bulletproof vests. Before leaving, dealer warns June that the world outside the law is more brutal than it seems. That night, they set out to commence their plan. The whole squad are nervous as this is the biggest score that they have planned in their life. Even June wavers when he is about to signal the start. He strengthens his heart and the first bullet is shot that night. They immediately enter the room and take everyone hostage. Some of the guards don't want to stand down, so they have to shoot a warning shot several times. Hearing that the alarm has sounded, Jang rushes to the exchange room and orders the worker to fill the bag with the money. After the safe is emptied, they get out of the building only to find that the gangsters have arrived. After some time of hiding and running, they flee from the building and manage to get away safely. They spend the rest of the night celebrating their success. Meanwhile, the gangster bosses are aware of the heist. They don't mind the money, as it's only the exchange safe. However, the CCTV footage that was stolen contained their illegal dealings with the VIPs. So, a maniac killer is hired to finish the four of them and retrieve the hard drives. He prepares himself before leaving for his hunt. On the other hand, the three of them plan to ship out tomorrow since Hoon wants to visit his parents before leaving. June invites friend too, but he rejects it to avoid suspicion from the house. With a heavy heart, the three of them leave friend and their past life behind. After some time, the trio arrives at Hoon's parents' house. Hoon's mother is so happy to see Hoon and receive a gift from his son for the first time. Meanwhile, the dealer is visited by the killer who wants to identify the four. 
however, Dealer is loyal to June, so he keeps his mouth shut. Killer doesn't believe the answer and comes back with a gun in his hand. He immediately shoots at Dealer's guards and threatens the Dealer. On the other hand, the trio are dreaming about their new life near the beach. Suddenly, June receives a call from Dealer who has been held hostage. Dealer outrightly asks about June's location. Luckily, June realizes that something's off and doesn't respond to it right away. With Dealer's phone in his hands, Killer annihilates Dealer before setting out to hunt. Meanwhile, June calls friend who is on his way to the gambling house. He realizes that he is being monitored by the guards. So, he goes into the bathroom and escapes from there. He runs with all of his might to the trio's old shop to get his money and a gun. Surprisingly, Killer has been waiting for him outside. That night, the trio sets out to realize their dream. In the hotel, June dreams of him shooting friend to death. He wakes up and gets out to get some fresh air. Then, he tries to reach friend, but to no avail. He tries to call him once more in a bar. Suddenly, he hears friend's ringtone in the same bar he is in and realizes that friend's phone is nearby. He finally meets Killer for the first time that night. Upon knowing that Killer has killed his two friends and that the trio is his next target, he rushes back to the hotel to warn Hoon and Jang. They get into the car only to find that it's been tampered with by Killer and cannot start. So, Jang hot wires another car with June and Hoon covering for him. They manage to pull it off, but the lights are taken out by Killer. Suddenly, Killer shows up and shoots at Jang, resulting in an accident. June survives the crash while the two of them faints. He holds June at gunpoint, but lets them free upon seeing June's bravery. After some time of driving, they arrive in a hospital to tend to Jiang's wound. After the operation, June wants to leave immediately, but Hoon rejects it as Jiang needs some time to rest. After some consideration, they finally agree to rest and leave in the morning. That night, June gets another nightmare of friend and wakes up. He looks out the window and sees that Killer has arrived. Killer calls June's phone once more to locate him. Unbeknownst to him, the phone is used as a bait to lure him away from the trio. They silently walk to the elevator, but the notification alarms Killer. From afar, Killer shoots at the three, but they safely get away. Killer still doesn't give up and shoots them from above, but they manage to get away too this time. They get out to find that Killer is actually a police officer who has access to all the surveillance cameras in Korea. Over the phone, Killer says that he has gotten his hard drives, but continues the hunt only for amusement. Due to the shootout, Killer is arrested by the police. Not long after, the chief of police orders his men to release Killer, as he has backup among the higher-ups. The next day, the trio arrives in the harbor to ship out. However, the transport is scheduled to arrive next dawn even if they move out ASAP. June's friend informs that there is a safe house with weapons stashed in one of the rooms, so the trio goes there to rest and hide. Hoon is concerned about his parents' safety, so he plans to see the two off tonight and returns home. Meanwhile, Dealer's death reaches his twin brother, a gangster boss, so he plans to get revenge on Killer. Boss finds out that Killer is currently at one of his shops to purchase firearms, but he lets him loose this time as he wants to kill him by himself. Instead, they put a tracker on him. On the other hand, Hoon's parents are visited by some gangsters from the gambling house. Hoon gets a bad feeling, so he calls them. However, the reply is strange as they have already been taken hostage. Hoon realizes something is off, so he rushes to leave the two of them. Outside, June sees Hoon, but Hoon pretends as if everything were fine, because he doesn't want the two to turn back for his family. He finally says his goodbye to June and Jiang with a heavy heart. That night, Jiang is awake and hears something outside, so he goes out to check it. Meanwhile, June sees Killer's car in the parking lot and rushes to look for Jiang, but Jiang is not in the safe house anymore. He scopes through the rooms one by one. Suddenly, Killer lurks from behind and shoots at him. Luckily, he manages to flee the bullets. Then, June sees Jiang outside, so he decides to get him. June catches Killer off guard and manages to get away from the corner. Jiang helps him get outside and they plan to flee with a car once more. However, Killer shoots at them and they have to defend themselves. They retaliate, but none of the bullets hit Killer. This time, they manage to corner Killer instead. 
however, their shooting skill differs greatly and Jun is shot. Jiang enrages and shoots at Killer blindlessly. Despite the effort, he is shot instead and Killer finishes him off. Seeing this, Jun charges at Killer and manages to hit his shoulder. Jun drags Jiang, who is already dying, to safety. Jiang says that Jun should leave him and go to the island alone. Then, he checks out the condition outside, and comes back to find that Jiang is dead due to blood loss. Jun lashes out at Killer and goes full attack on him, but once more he is beaten as their shooting skill differs greatly. When he is about to finish Jun, the gangster boss and his men arrive to save the day. They manage to corner and even chase Killer away. Killer is greatly outnumbered and receives many hits. After some time, he falls down into the sea with a lot of wounds. In the end, Jun is on his way to his dream island. Despite the condition, he grieves badly as he has lost his three closest friends. The island is a perfect place to start anew, but Jun keeps on being reminded of Jiang's last moment. It is implied that Hoon and his parents have also been killed by the gambling house gangsters. In addition, Jun is informed that Killer survived the ambush and has wiped out gangster boss clan. He receives the list of people involved with the gambling house to get his revenge. He practices his shooting and finally sets out to settle the score with Killer. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.